Hi everyone, you have reached Chronicles of the Great Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And finally, share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on how long how long, everyone, do you stand by your man? What am I talking about? The actor Don Cheeto recently married his um, longtime girlfriend of 28 years during the pandemic. They got married, okay? And so it prompted me to say to everybody, how long do you hate in there? I don't know their particular situation in detail, okay? His now wife, um, Bridget, you know, perhaps she was on board with this and okay with this and okay with waiting and okay with not being the wife this entire time, all right? So why it prompted me to have this question is how long do we stand by someone if we know in our heart of hearts that we want to be married we want to legally have that marriage license under the eyes of the law we want to know that we're in this together that we're bound together that i'm changing my last name to become yours and i'm in this to win it and i'm here to death do us part how long do we wait ladies do you wait five years do you wait a decade? Do you wait two decades? Or do you almost wait three? And as you are waiting, are you okay with giving birth to their seed, having one kid, two kids, three kids, while you're waiting for your partner to say, will you marry me? Let's hang in this together for life. So a lot of people will argue that it's just a piece of paper and it doesn't matter. Well, hold on. Hold tight. We'll get into why it matters, and it matters a whole lot. Now, there are some states that will legally recognize what they call common law marriage. However, I don't think there's many. And in addition to that, I think you're going to have a tougher time when you have to go and prove to courts that you're this common law wife versus you legally just showing up with your marriage license saying you are the wife. Now, if you are common law and the person leaves a will, then you can't, you know, you probably won't have that many problems. But if you are common law and that person did not leave a will, well, get ready to put up a fight, a fight that you will perhaps lose. So let's talk about this a little bit more. So Don Cheadle on the Ellen DeGeneres show um, recently mentioned that he got married to his girlfriend Bridget um, after 28 years of being together. They have children together. And during the pandemic, and these are his words, they secretly got married. Well, why got to be a secret? Did he just use the wrong choice of words? We secretly got married after 28 years? Secretly? But anyway, let's carry on. Don Cheeto, he is a big deal now. He's been in Iron Man 2 and 3, Ocean's 13, The Avengers and The Avengers Endgame, House of Lies. I mean, this man has accolades um, and credits behind his name. He's in the new Space Jam that's coming out, a new legacy or something like that. Oh, no, he's a big deal. He's a big deal. And I'm just curious to know why after all of those years, like nowhere during those years that she was giving birth to your children, birth to your seed, carrying your seed in her belly, that you didn't say, let's get married 28 years later, like the aha moment came in your head and then you married her secretly. But anyway, let's carry on. He is not the only Hollywood celebrity that's been in a long-term relationship and is not married. The most famous ones that we know, Oprah Winfrey and Stedman. Oprah says she has no desire to get married and she's never getting married. Okay? And they've been together for over 30 years. You heard about no dramas in their relationship? So do they have an answer there, guys? Do they have the key to relationships? As long as you're happy together, it doesn't matter if you get married or never get married or so forth and so on. Um, but let's carry on. There's another really popular couple that's been together for over 40 years. No marriage. That's Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. 
and she feels like Oprah, I don't need a piece of paper to solidify my relationship. We're happy. We love each other. We treat each other well. And it's good enough for me. And like I said, is it an answer? Is it, is it a key? It's been 40 years for them. We've known of other celebrities that have been married over and over and over again and had short-lived relationships, two years, three years, some of them just 30 days. So do these people that live together and never get married, do they have some key, some answer to relationships? You have a lot of people that will argue with you and say that that marriage license is just a piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. Well, I'm here to say this. That piece of paper means a lot, especially if there's an unfortunate demise of one of the people in this relationship. If y'all were never married and that person didn't have a will and didn't name you in that will. Always going to be problems legally. That home that you're used to living in with that person, the money you're used to having access to with that person, if your name wasn't on these bank accounts also, oh, you can have a whole lot of problems. If the person is a non-celebrity or even a celebrity, a celebrity with their royalties, okay? A non-celebrity with their pension and their 401k, you will get none of it. None of it. If they didn't leave a will and you're not legally the spouse. So that piece of paper holds a whole ton of weight. Oh, ask DMX um, fiance who tried to go to the courts and get named as the legal um, common law wife. They told her no. And he has a lot of children. And he has a child with her. But if you're not named the legal common law wife, then you really have no say over this whole estate. Yeah, maybe your son will get a piece of the estate along with other children, but you have no overall say in this whole estate. So that's why that marriage license means a whole lot. God bless and God rest the dead as they like to say, but Chadwick Boseman, God bless him in his end days. He married his longtime girlfriend and he married her for that very reason. So she would have no fight and nobody would be able to come after her for all of the royalties over all the good work he has done before he passed. She, she has all the legal right to it. Why? Because she's legally, was legally his spouse. If he did not have the opportunity and the chance to marry her before he left us, she would have problems. But like I said, God bless him. He made sure he married her. And we all know him. He did. He, he's another one that has a, a nice catalog behind his name. But we all know him from Black Panther, um, Wakanda Forever. And that's what we know him really a lot by most of the world. But like I said, God bless him. He married the girlfriend before he passed. So if we go into our average everyday world and listen, we're all sometimes um, victims of our own, you know, doings and what we allow and not allow in relationships. And I'll just say this. If your desire is to be married and that's what you want when you get into a relationship, and the person that you are in relationship with is not on board with getting married in a certain time frame. And you can define that time frame. Do I think if you're the average person, you should be waiting 5, 15, 20, 30 years for that person to turn around? No. For you ladies out there, I will say this. Most people say, most experts say that a man knows pretty much within the first 30 days if he wants you to be his wife or not. Now, they will play around with you for a lifetime. But they know within 30 days if they truly want you to be their spouse or not. And that's why I say to you, if that's what you want, do you wait five years? That's your time. That's your life. Do you wait 10 do you wait 20? Do you wait 30? 
these particular situations that I'm telling you about where, you know, these couples had children together and been together 20 years, 30 years, 40 years and never got married. You know, I'm going to say those are the unicorns of the world. But for the rest of us, do I advise you waiting that long if what you know you really want is marriage? No. Do I advise that you live with this person and have two, three, four, five, six, ten of their children knowing that you really want something different? No. Do I advise that you be with somebody for years and you live, you're sharing a home with them, you're sharing all kinds of expenses and accounts with them and you're not legally married and, and there's no will? Do I advise that? No. No. Not at all. Because as I stated, you will not, if they leave the world suddenly, unfortunately, um, you will not be entitled to their pension. You will not be entitled to their 401k. You may even get kicked out of the house that y'all live in together if your name is not on that property. It's brutal. And you may not even be able to plan their funeral if you're not the legal spouse. Talk to me. Chat with me in the comments. How do you feel about this situation? How do you feel with um, living with somebody, not being married? How do you feel, like how long do you think you should stay in a relationship knowing that you want something different and want more? Or are you into, let's just have a partnership and we don't need this piece of paper because a piece of paper means nothing. Talk to me, chat with me in the comments and when I get an opportunity, I'll definitely chat back. Have a good day, see you soon and happy 4th of July weekend everyone, bye.